Thank you, Honorable Member Sri Indra and Subhaji. Thank you, Chairman, sir. I stand to uh, support this bill uh, on behalf of Sikkim Krantikari Morsa Party. Uh, I'm a lone member from Sikkim, so uh, I'd like to I'd like to bring to the notice of the Minister, Honorable Minister, that even in Sikkim, just like the communities who have been recently included in the list of settled tribe, the 12 communities in Sikkim are yet to get their, been listed, uh, to get listed into the list of settled tribe. So when Sikkim was uh, merged in the Indian Union in 1975, out of three major communities, two major communities, Bhutia and Lepcha, were included as settled tribe in 1978 itself. And later on, in 2003, Limbu and Tamang communities, both the communities were included in settled tribe. However, there are still 12 communities who share a similar kind of tribal trade with the rest of the tribal communities in Sikkim. They have been demanding, and the government of Sikkim has been time and again apprising this issue with the government of India, yet these 12 communities are yet to get their share as a, a settled tribe uh, in, the, in the constitution of India. So I'd like to uh, request the Honorable Minister that this issue must be addressed uh, to bring justice to those who have been uh, left out uh, after the merger of our state. Because Sikkim is a small state, we don't have much of population, and all the population, all the communities have a similar kind of socio-economic conditions. I'd also like to uh, bring uh, in the notice that uh, to enlist in the settled tribe uh, in the constitution of India is not just to bring justice in terms of socio-economic condition of uh, a community. It is also important that those communities, the identity of those communities should be taken into account and, uh, and the and the policies must be framed to protect their identity as far as possible. In various parts of the country where the scheduled tribes are there, and specifically in Sikkim, we have a number of languages which are spoken by different tribal communities. To preserve, this, uh, preserve and develop these languages, I think the government of India must have a policy and promote it in the regional universities to uh, to, uh, develop, to develop these languages uh, for the future generation to come. Because gradually, as the tribal population, the, the dialects and uh, their languages are being endangered day by day. So with, along with the socioeconomic development of the settled tribe community, their oral history, their language, their dialect must also be protected at the same time. So uh, on behalf of the Sikkim Krantikari Morsa Party, I support this bill. Thank you so much. Sri Nau Kumar Sarnia.